And we're back. Here we go. Aha, uh -huh, much better. I can see again. Hang on a tick. Aren't you a, you aren't a forest spirit? You aren't a forest spirit at all. Nope. If my memory serves me right, your name is Olek, right? Followed by an emoticon. It might come as a shock, but I know a fair bit about most folk in Nevermore. Bet you want to know how. Huh, well, you seem like a trustable little monster, so I think I can let you in on this. Climb up onto my balcony to the left. There's something very interesting up there. When you're done, come back down here and talk to me. Okay. I've turned my system volume up a little bit. I'm not sure how well you can hear the music, because it is kind of soft and subdued in the background. See, there's an example of the kind of fuzzy jumping. I jump not quite high enough to get onto that ledge, and then the game just sort of boosts me up. Ow, that was a stupid move. I'm really good at this game. Get used to this part, because we're probably going to see it a couple times. That's the world's largest telescope. Hmm, how odd. Jump back down. It's called a zoescope. It looks out over Nevermore and picks out things of interest to you. It very much wanted uh, me to look out over you and your town. I know all about the situation. You're on a pers you're on a treasure hunt to get funds for your poor town. What a good boy you are. As for the person who sent you, was it Tuomas? Was Tuomas his name? I have a bad feeling about him. Oh dear. Yes, I fear his intentions may not be as good as yours. He disappeared shortly after you left. Not that I intend to scare you, but I'd keep a lookout for anything suspicious on your travels if I were you. Us Moss Town folk will keep our eyes peeled too. Thank you. Okay, I suppose you're wanting to get back to your treasure hunt. I'm afraid I don't know too much about treasure, but maybe the Zoescope will be able to help you. Why not give it another visit? Um, I'm guessing that this game is a continuation of the other games, and so the, you know, the backstory they keep referencing. There's two look, mole-looking dudes. What the heck do they look like? Their face totally looks like a mole. Oh, there's a button. The button's on the right side of the screen instead of the left here. So I'm going to go look for two dudes enjoying a cafe latte. Oh. Ah, must be telling you to go talk to Eric and Jake. I wonder what they'd know about treasure. Them and their secrets, I don't know. Well, I'll open the gate down to the right so you can get to the street. Good luck, Olek. Goodbye, Mr. Goker. So we're going to head this way. And head down this way. And jump through here. If you come over here without going up there and talking to Mr. Goker, that thing stays up and it's impossible to get by because there's a invisible wall. We're going to head down through here. Uh, I'll show you this section, but I don't think there's any point to it. Down here on the, uh, the docks. You can't jump off the edge into the water. Wow, that bird is loud. Let's just turn that down a slight bit. I've had nightmares about things like this, where there's just this huge body of water. Ugh, creeps me out. Jump back up here. We float. Here's our little town. And here's our first Mr. Man. I could stare at our lake forever. It's so peaceful. Maybe it's just my old eyes playing tricks on me, but I can almost see spirits playing in the waters. I thought that was a clue that you could go down into the water, but it's not. Why, hello, young sir. What brings you to our quiet little town? Was it coffee? Because we sure have a lot of it here. Ah, uh, coffee can wait. You you say you're on a treasure hunt? How exciting. Well, it just so happens your search may be nearing its end. In the days of our youth, we worked in the very mines this town was built around. Demand for the gems we mined dropped, so they were eventually closed. But legend has it right at the end of the mine's lifetime, a large cavern was found. In there was a grand door that nobody could open, and not even the strongest of tools could crack. Just imagine what ancient treasures could be in there. The only problem is it's only a legend, so who knows uh, if it's true. Well, actually, Eric, that isn't the only problem. If you recall the route to the mines, you'd remember that the bridge has been broken for quite some time now. Nobody has needed to go that way in a long, long time. <clears throat> yes, but it, all, all it needs is a new battery, and we've got plenty of them in the tool shed. Just needs a, num a nimble young lad to climb up and fix it. 
Uh, the tool shed is up in the rooftops, as the as is the route to the mines. The stairs that used to lead up there are broken, but you can probably get up through Mr. Goker's house. All right, let's go to Mr. Goker's house. I like how the tool shed is up in the rooftops, and that every morning when they wanted to go to work, they had to climb up over the roofs of the town. Uh, yeah, we want to go up this way, and then head over to Mr. Goker's house. Jump. This is why I said get used to this run, uh, this route. This is, if you screw up the jumps in this game, you will, this is just backtracking all the time back through here. That's also a very nice snoring sound. Jump, uh, jump, uh. Okay, here we're gonna fall down through here. Bonk. And then there's a button here that you press. That opens up the bottom. That serves no purpose, really, because you can't go any further. So we're going to hop back this way, jump up here, grab a hat. Now we're a skater. Now we're going to go right back through Mr. Goker's house. Jump, jump, jump. Because he floats at the top of the jump, it's hard to jump up those things quickly because you get a little bit of a float action. That's happened to me a couple times where I fall through the uh, the floor. I hate that snoring sound. It's too accurate. Jump. Okay, so now we know where that thing breaks. We're going to jump all the way over here and head into here. This is the shed. There's an open floor. It's a slightly tricky jump. And there's a battery. And over here is a miner's cap. Now that we've got the battery, we fall down. This moves, but it doesn't really serve a purpose. You can ride it all the way to the bottom and nothing's going to happen. Up over that roof. Here's the bridge. This is an invisible wall. Even though you can jump high enough, you can't get onto it. So you plug the battery in. That fixes the bridge. Jump. Jump. Alright, here's the entrance to the mine. The old excavation. I'm going to kind of hurry it up on this side because... Okay, if only there was some light down here. We need to turn on the lights. you got to jump onto that rock. Up over here. Hit the seesaw. That drops this gate down. Grab this gem. And flick that switch. That'll turn on the lights. And you can actually see a little bit of a glow now coming from that side. So we're going to head downstairs. Flick that switch. It turns on this light. Flick that switch. It opens the door. Now when it comes over here, you can't get through this. And I'm not sure how you're supposed to figure this out. Maybe that little green light there is a clue, I don't know. You actually have to jump all the way over here and turn this light off. And that gets rid of the green light, which then opens up this part. That was a pain in the butt to figure out. Look at how beautiful these caves are. This is just nice, atmospheric. The music is wonderful drop through the floor there. Whee! Alright, here there's a thingy in the way. So what you need to do, you see this rope traveling from the minecart up over here. Activate it. It'll crush through. And I like the little detail of the minecart up, you know, upended in that little pool of water. Down through this colon-shaped chamber. big skull and crossbones up at the top. We saw that earlier. It was on one of the blimps. There's another skull. Alright, here's the giant door. But there's no way to get through it. So you head back here and you see these five floating balls of light. You have to activate them in the right order. And unfortunately, it's not size order. If you hit the wrong one, it turns them off. So it's this one. 
Ah, I gotta jump over it. That one. Nope, not that one. This one, this one. Okay. I forgot the order. This one, this one, this one. <laughs> you. 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 And then that one. They fly over here and open up the door. 